Presently, there's a very high demand in the top business schools, both in the U.S. and outside the U.S., Asia in particular, for high quality accounting faculty. And the reason for this is because a lot of people who go into the accounting profession have a strong understanding of the underlying institutions, as well as obviously bookkeeping. But many of them do not have the training in economics, statistics, and finance that they need to be able to do academic research. And so what we find is oftentimes people that are able to get jobs at the top schools are the ones that not always come from accounting, but oftentimes come from economics and finance because they have that training in rigorous academics from an undergraduate program. And then they find that they have a strong interest in the institutional issues that accountant academics are interested in. And so many of those people just sometimes don't know that there's an accounting PhD out there for them that they can do well at, enjoy, and then find a, a good, interesting job at a high quality institution in the U.S. And by high quality, you know, we're talking some of the best schools in the U.S. are, are having a difficult time meeting their demands for good faculty in accounting. There's a shortage of accounting faculty at top business schools around the world, and this is driven by a couple of factors. The students that have a training in accounting and finance often aren't aware of the very uh, rewarding careers that are available if they pursue a PhD, both intellectually rewarding and financially rewarding. At the same time, the selectivity of these top business schools for the type of professors that they want in their classrooms, they want teachers that are going into the classroom and teaching at the top MBA programs that don't just talk about how is accounting done, but why has it emerged in a certain way. So very, very critical thought to the way accounting information is used and processed in the economy beyond just this is a set of rules. There are not a lot of uh, faculty that can be that critical when they're teaching it to their students, and that's what a, a very strong research focus has in the PhD training that we have here at INSEAD. Everyone knows INSEAD has high quality faculty. Everyone knows that it's a very international school with people that come from all around the world. But I think the one thing that makes INSEAD even more unique and that sometimes people fail to understand is the faculty here are genuinely interested in understanding how business practice is carried out. So a lot of the research we do is motivated by practice or at least has some implications for practice. The research interests of the uh, faculty in the, the group are pretty diverse. Uh, some of my colleagues uh, would focus on, on uh, mainstream financial uh, research, uh, how financial markets are working, how contracts are set, how information is being disseminated. Uh, other of my colleagues are working more on managerial issues. So uh, within the firm, uh, you get the information, how do you make the appropriate decisions? And as for myself, I try to work more on behavioral issues, uh, how psychology uh, can be blended with economics uh, to uh, understand the world a bit better. So even though we don't have a large faculty, we actually have a pretty diverse faculty. So I think any one that comes here, as long as they're interested in empirical work, so working with data, we'll find someone who they'll be interested in working with and that person will be high quality so they will be able to get the training they need to be successful. Key thing that you're going to find if you get a PhD is that you'll have a broad set of faculty you'll work with. You'll take courses from many different people but ultimately you'll probably work with one or two people closely because you'll find you have a common interest with them. And so I think, you know, part of the PhD experience is, is finding a faculty member who doesn't necessarily ex think exactly like you, but has the same interests in terms of the types of questions he or she wants to ask, and has an open mind to basically let you challenge them, and also come up with questions they haven't thought of, and, you know, incentivize you to do that, and actually push you to do that. So I think finding someone that has that mentality is very important. And the good thing about um, the people we have right now is they are those type of people. They're, um, they're not so experienced that they've sort of decided how the world works, but they're not so early in their careers that they're still trying to really figure out you know, what the big questions are. What is very special about INSEAD is that there is a lot of interdisciplinary work 
uh, across the different departments here and we really are encouraging our students to get out of the accounting and control department and work with and learn from students and faculty in these other fields. A PhD student in accounting will interact a lot with people in other disciplines. Uh, finance, that's an obvious one. Economics, uh, that will provide the foundation for your, for your uh, research. Uh, but also decision science, statistics. Uh, and we're lucky enough at INSEAD to have colleagues performing at very high level in all those uh, disciplines. A successful uh, PhD student in INSEAD would be someone who is very creative, uh, able to find good questions to answer or good ways to answer uh, questions that have not been answered but have been identified. Probably someone who is resilient, someone who has been able to work under pressure uh, and still perform at a high level. Uh, and someone who has the ability to deal with quantitative skills. Um, so in terms of background, that will prepare you to uh, meet those uh, criteria. Um, probably some, some form of trainings in quantitative fields would be useful. Um, economics would be one, but also engineering, applied mathematics uh, would be useful. Uh, a background in accounting is a plus, but it's absolutely not a requirement. Uh, working experience is also a plus, but it's not a requirement. We are really training them to be our future colleagues. 